back to my channel once again. Today's video has been very highly requested because of a little thing I said in one of my last videos. On my video where it was rudest slash nicest YouTubers I met, I mentioned how something happened between Keen and Lolly and I. Never dating wise, never flirting wise, I don't want that to be spread, I don't want the wrong thing to get out there. People thought we were dating, I think? I don't really know. I'm just gonna tell you the story and you guys can interpret it yourself. At the end, let me know what you think about this and that's really it, so let's just go. So a while ago when I was single, let's keep that in mind, I guess a lot of people shipped Key and Lolly and I because I guess they watch my videos and they would watch his videos, they're like, oh, they make a couple. So for some reason we would get shipped a lot. I don't even know of all the people in the world why it would be me and him, but anyways, that happened. One day I logged on Twitter and people were spamming the hashtag, hashtag me and like our names combined. I'm not even exaggerating. There must have been hundreds, maybe even thousands of tweets just saying hashtag me and tagging the both of us so I was like okay this is really weird and back in the day my Twitter was popping like my Twitter is so inactive now you should probably go follow me on it at Monica Gartner but anyways yeah my Twitter used to be so good and then it got hacked and then all my tweets got deleted blah 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 but that's a really sad story there's a story time on that too down below there are literally so many tweets that I caught the key and Lolly's attention and I guess maybe he shipped us or I don't know why he did this maybe just to, as a joke but he ended up following me and then DMing me hashtag me in. and for all those people let me just say something when I posted my video about the Shawn Mendes thing that happened with me I got so many comments like oh my god this is such a lie oh my god this didn't happen why are you lying it's like girl why am I gonna spend my time making up a fake story that's not even that entertaining like bitch what I don't even understand some people so for this video before you little haters go comment down there oh this isn't true what's this I pulled out the receipts on you now, what are you gonna say? But yeah, I'm not gonna show all the DMs. I guess him and I went along with the hashtag me thing for our followers for a really long time. He ended up calling me pumpkin, like he messaged me one time again. Let me get those receipts for you. Let me just show you this on my phone. So all those people, you can't say it's a lie. So I'm gonna go to Kian's Twitter. Kian Lolly, he's following me. And if I go to my DMs, there they are. Okay. I'm not gonna show all the DMs because it's private. I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was just like a thing for our followers and stuff. One day, this girl I know actually went to go meet Kian and he ended up saying to her something about me and she was like, wait, what? You know who that is? Like, he knew all about me before like we even met or anything, which I thought was kind of cool. Like, Kian, if for some reason you're watching this, hi, remember me? <laughs> it's so weird. So when my friend told me that, I was like, he actually knows who I am? Like, this is actually happening? And he said to her, like, I can't wait to meet her. We ended up being on the same tour in California. I got flown out to California for I believe it was called Brave Fest or Virtuoso Fest. I'm not sure. I get those mixed up all the time because they were both in California. I went there, I was like, oh my gosh, this is kind of nerve wracking. I didn't know what to say. Like, what am I supposed to say? Our followers like think we should date. My followers sometimes do this quite a lot. It actually happened again with Jack Alinsky. We ended up trending on Twitter. If you guys want that story time, comment down below because that's really weird. Like, why? I get to this event and then I saw him. He was on a balcony and I was down here. He looks down. He's like, Monica, I really want to come and meet you. Stay down there. And I was like, what? I don't know why. I went inside and we ended up meeting. Like, as he was going down, I was going up. We ended up meeting. Played along with the whole me and thing. And then we took a few pictures together. I'll put them somewhere over here. Gosh, it, me. And that was really it. He was a really, really nice guy. He actually messaged me. A few weeks later and he also liked the photo and all that stuff nothing ever happened with us we never dated we never were seeing each other and nothing nothing like that yeah that's actually the first time I met JC as well because he was also at the event that's my story of hashtag me and <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the story time please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video love you bye